Hello, my name is Marie Altieri, and I am the Deputy Superintendent of Schools for the Acton Boxborough Regional School District. In this episode of AB Connects, we are going to share some information for families who have children entering kindergarten in September of next year. Students who will be five by September 1st, 2022 are eligible to enroll in kindergarten. All of our information about kindergarten is on our website, abschools.org. From the home page, select student registration and then kindergarten registration. On this page, there is step-by-step -step guidance and there's a short form you can fill out that will allow you to receive information about kindergarten registration throughout the process. Please go ahead and fill out this form as soon as you are able to. We will have a general information night on Zoom on January 18th at 7 o'clock p.m. This is open to anyone who has a student who is eligible to enroll in kindergarten for next year. Please join us at that Zoom meeting and we will go into detail about the dates, the process, and there will be plenty of time for questions and answers. The Zoom link for the January 18th webinar is on the kindergarten registration page of our website. Please make sure that you join us that evening. Today we will just cover some of the highlights. You may be aware that here in Acton Boxborough we have six elementary schools. We do not have neighborhood schools, rather families can select their order of preference among the six schools. In February and March, there will be an opportunity to visit schools and to, to learn more about each individual school so that you can make up your mind about which schools would be the best fits for your families. Those evenings are held on Tuesday nights throughout February and March. There's a full schedule on the website. We're hoping to have those meetings in person although we have to see where things are with COVID between now and then to know for sure. If not, we'll do them on Zoom. The actual kindergarten online registration will open on January 19th and it will stay open until March 31st. Anyone who registers in that window will be included in the placement process and any lotteries that may be needed. If you are new to the district, take your time in the months of February and March to learn about each school and to determine your preference. When you register, you will need to list all six schools in order of preference. Our process gives priority placement to students who already have a sibling in one of our schools. So once your oldest child is enrolled in one of the elementary schools, your younger children will be able to attend that same school. You may also have priority to attend a specific elementary school if you live within a one mile safe walk of that school. If you think you have priority to be a walker, you should fill out the registration form and indicate that you are a walker. We will evaluate the distance and get back to you. Lastly, there is a priority for students who live in Boxborough to attend the Blanchard Memorial School through a hometown guarantee. If you want to use the Boxborough hometown guarantee, please register by March 31st deadline for the lottery. Each year, a small number of students are not able to be placed in their first choice school. Students who are not placed in their first choice school will be placed in a school that has space based on your order of choices. We keep students on the wait list for their first choice school and we will move students as seats become available over time. We have all day kindergarten and half day kindergarten available in every school. All day kindergarten is available for a tuition fee. The fee for this year was $3,750 payable in 10 monthly payments of $375. The fee for next year has not yet been set, but it will not be higher than the $375 per month. There are scholarships available for families in need. Alternatively, we also have half-day kindergarten available. Half-day students will be in a classroom with all-day students and they will leave before lunch. We hope that this is an exciting time for you and your family. Please use the next couple of months as a way to learn about our school district and our individual schools. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our registrar, Candace Doncaster. Her email is registrar at abschools.org. Next, you're going to hear from one of our wonderful kindergarten teachers, Kestrel Scher. You'll see how wonderful our kindergarten classrooms will be for your child. I look forward to seeing you all on January 18th and answering any questions you may have.
I'm Kestrel Scher. I teach kindergarten at Acton Boxborough. Um, and I wanted to just give a quick overview of some of the um, questions I get most frequently from parents who are starting the process of thinking about um, where they want to send their child to kindergarten at AB. Um, one of the biggest worries or concerns I think parents often have is, is my child ready for kindergarten? Or what does it look like to be ready for kindergarten? And um, what I always reassure people is, um, is that when you're thinking about kindergarten, there's a huge range of readiness, of abilities. You know, some kids come into kindergarten not knowing any letters or any letter sounds, and some kids come into kindergarten knowing how to read already, and all of that is fine. Um, we really do our best across the board to meet kids where they are um, and work with differentiation and make sure what we're instructing students um, on is is matching up with where they're coming into kindergarten. Um, I would say another really big question is the question about whether to choose full day kindergarten or to choose half day. Um, there's no right choice. It, it's really whatever works for your family. And um, something we always like to talk about is what does the day look like? What's the difference between being here for half a day and here for a full day? Um, half day um, students are here for the morning and in the morning we always do all of our new instruction. So any new academic material we go over in the morning. Um, we always have our special in the morning. So library or music or, or our art or um, PE takes place in the morning. So they'll never miss that. Um, and then in the afternoon we do academics, but usually what the academics are, are an extension or um, extra extra practice with something that we've taught in the morning. So it's additional practice, not necessarily something new. So if a student is only here in the morning, they're not going to miss anything. Um, and we also spend a lot of time doing um, play in the afternoon, focusing on social emotional development in the afternoon, um, and extra time outside as well, which is become especially important um, in these times. And I think when we're thinking about kindergarten as a whole, across the board, what our goal is, um, is to make sure every student coming into kindergarten loves school, feels comfortable at school, um, is confident in, in themselves and their abilities, um, and is excited for the next year and the next year and the next year as, as they um, continue on in their, their educational career um, at AB. It's really just encouraging them um, to love school and, and feel excited and happy being at school. If a parent came to me over the summer and said, you know, Kestrel, what's the biggest piece of advice that you um, can offer to get my child ready for entering kindergarten? Um, I would say work on self-help skills. Um, that's really super helpful for kids um, who are entering kindergarten and will need to be doing a lot of things more independently than maybe they have in the past. So things like putting on shoes, putting on jackets, knowing how to pack your backpack, um, open snack boxes and Tupperware containers and things like that um, are really great things to practice just so that when they enter kindergarten, it's one thing that they know that they can take care of themselves um, and not have to rely on a teacher always to help them. We will help them, of course, um, with anything that they need help with, um, but being able to have those self-help skills and some independence there is really, really helpful. Hi, I'm Erin Batez. I'm the director of Acton Boxborough Community Education. We run the district's before and after school child care program, Extended Day. We have sites throughout the district, one at each of the elementary schools and also a central one at the administration building. Each of our sites opens at 7 a.m. on school days and is open till the start of the day. And then we reopen when the school day ends and stay open till 6 p.m. Families are welcome to pick a schedule that works for their needs. We have some kids that come every morning and afternoon each week, and some who might come just one morning or one afternoon because that's what their family's needs are. Each site is staffed by a staff leader who is the primary contact at the program, and they are supported by a range of folks who work part-time, many of whom work in other roles within our district. We are open extended day on school days only, so that's the 180 school days each year. Community Ed does also provide other child care opportunities during vacation weeks, some of the non-school days throughout the year, and that's something that parents can access through the Community Education Department. Each day, children have an opportunity to choose what they want to do and positively interact with their peers, and we're there to support them and help them as they have that fun with their friends at Extended Day. 
Registration for Extended Day happens in the spring each year, so kindergarten parents who are joining our district would want to check out our website, abce.abschools.org. There's an extended day page with lots of information about the program, and as we start putting up the details regarding registration, you can find it there. Or you can call the office at 978-266-2525. Thanks.